Hello, my name is Sam Leroux. I'm a postdoc at Ghent University, and today I will be presenting a work on multi-branch neural networks for video anomaly detection in adverse lighting and weather conditions. So adverse weather conditions are challenging for any computer vision algorithm, but especially for anomaly detection, because the goal of anomaly detection is to detect deviating uh, situations that are different from the situations that were seen during training. So if the model is deployed in, in, in the real world, it will generate a lot of false positives um, if it cannot accurately deal with, with changing weather conditions, uh, changing lighting conditions, rain, snow, things like that. So this is very important um, for an accurate uh, video anomaly detection system. In this paper, we present a novel uh, deep learning based architecture to do video anomaly detection in these adverse weather conditions. And it's built around two novel contributions, a trainable background subtraction uh, step and a multi-branch architecture. So we will first focus on this background subtraction step. Background subtraction is common in, in many computer vision algorithms where we typically subtract a mean frame from the input. Uh, and this serves as kind of a, a background frame so this allows us to really focus on the, on the foreground. But of course, if we have different weather conditions, different lighting conditions, it's not really clear what a good background frame would look like. Um, so instead, we propose to learn multiple background frames from data, completely unsupervised, and interpolate between them to accurately estimate the background of a current frame. So that's what's shown here in the figure uh, below. Uh, we learn, in this case, two background base frames purely from data. And then if we give a new frame to the model, we estimate uh, the weights that we should use to interpolate between these two background bases to get a good estimate of the current um, background. So these weights, these two scalar values, are predicted by a small neural network. Um, and it allows us to mix to interpolate between these two background bases to really get an accurate background for the current frame. And by subtracting this frame from the input frame, we really can focus on, uh, on the foreground that uh, might cause the anomalies. The second aspect is that we have a multi-branch architecture. So we have multiple small anomaly detection models, multiple identical anomaly detection models, but with different weights. Um, and we again activate different branches depending on the weather condition. So the different branches can specialize in, in different weather conditions and by selectively activating certain branches we can deal with different weather conditions. But the important thing to note is that we learn all of this completely unsupervised from data. So there is no constraint on what a, a specific branch should do. It's completely up to the, the, the model to decide what a branch uh, should uh, focus on. And then we evaluated this on two data sets. First, a synthetic data set, which is the avenue data set that is commonly used for video anomaly detection. But we augmented it by adding rain and changing the brightness. So this allows us to um, quantitatively compare our approach to, to other approaches on, um, on these adverse weather conditions. And our method achieves a higher area under the curve compared to other approaches. And I would refer to the paper for the exact values. And then we also showed some um, qualitative examples of the types of anomalies that our model is able to detect. So this was collected uh, in the real world by a camera deployed on a playground in a city. And you can actually see that the model has, is able to detect um, real anomalies um, in, in, in this, this real world uh, example. Thank you very much for listening to this short uh, presentation. Please check out our paper for more details and please also feel free to reach out to us uh, to discuss this further.